everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with iStyle Design, and today I am starting a new series, and it is a Ray Dunn inspired um, DIY. And I have been seeing tons of Ray Dunn um, on YouTube videos, Instagram, and Pinterest. And as you know, I have been Ray Dunn hunting, but when I go to the stores, I don't find anything. So I'm sure all of the hunters have gotten there before me. And it's very frustrating to spend your time to go out looking for a Ray Dunn and not being able to find it. So today I am going to show you how to create, sorry, create your own Ray Dunn inspired DIY decor that you can use around your home for the holidays. And what we're going to get started with are these candles. So these candles I picked up from the Dollar Tree. They were $1 and we're going to use those. And I used my Cricut and I printed up some labels. So we have grateful, we have thankful, and we have blessed. And I know not everyone has a Cricut, so I'm also going to give you an alternative method to use, and I think it will look just as nice. So I printed out the same words on just regular copy paper from my printer, and we are going to cut those out, and I'm going to show you how to create your own labels. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I changed my mind on what color I want to use. Since I use mostly black and white decor in my home, I wanted to create some candles that would go with my decor. So what we are going to do is use some of this craft paint that I picked up from Walmart, and we are going to make our candles match our decor. So keep watching. So I'm back and we have finished painting our Dollar Tree candles. They're all nice and black. We have two in black and one in white. Like I said, these match my colors, my color scheme for my home. And now we're going to get down to our very simple, and guys, I do mean simple, Ray Dunn inspired fall and Halloween DIYs. So what I'm going to do is we are going to take this blessed and I'll show you here and we are going to peel off. You can see, oh, the letters aren't sticking. So we gotta fix 
that. We gotta make sure that our vinyl sticks. So I'm just gonna rub it with the scissors because that is the closest thing to me. So let's try this again. You can see we are peeling off our label and our E got a little crooked, but we're gonna work with it. So now we're gonna take it and we are going to apply it, as you can see here, to our candle. So we're just gonna press it down really well. and make sure the vinyl letters are sticking. And then we're going to gently, we can grab a corner, remove the transfer paper. And as you can see, this is not quite, so we peel it off. Our letters are sticking and we have a beautiful Ray Dunn inspired blessed candle. I hope this is you are seeing this the correct way. So I think this looks all right guys so we have our words now submerged in a bowl of warm water and we're going to let it sit for a little bit to let the paper kind of dissolve and then we're going to rub the paper away. So hang on and keep watching. So here are a couple of more candles. Just your regular candles from Dollar Tree for a dollar. We are not going to paint these. We're just gonna leave these the same. And these are gonna look more like Ray Dunn that you see in TJ Maxx Home Goods. And Marshalls and the Dollar Tree candles have labels on them and they are usually hard to get off so I have Goo Gone that I picked up um, at a store I think it's called Bargain Mart it's like six dollars but you can pick this up anywhere and I think you can even sometimes find it at the Dollar Tree in a smaller form so you'll want to get some of this to help remove the tape residue from your candles so I've already done that and they're all clean so now we are going to rub the paper off of our labels. So I'm going to let you watch that and, and watch that to a little music. So now that we've scraped off all the paper, we are going to let these dry so they get tacky again. So we're going to let that happen and then we'll come back and we'll apply our labels. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I think our tape 
stickers are ready to be applied. Here, it's sticky again. So we are going to take our candle and we are going to apply our first word, which is thankful. We're going to press it down, make sure it's centered, and there you go. Truly Ray Dunn inspired. And if you didn't know, you probably would think it was the real thing. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share the video. Tell, tell all of your friends to come and check out my channel. I plan to have other awesome DIYs. Here, here is our blessed. And the last one will be our grateful. And I am so grateful to all of my YouTube family who have subscribed to my channel so far. I greatly appreciate all your support. I hope you continue to support me and come back to see what other videos I will be coming out with next. And here we go, guys. Here are our tape stickers, Ray Dunn inspired candles. So that I am now going to show you how I style these around my home.